Hello and welcome to the Soft Hummingbird Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials in which I show you step by step how to simulate a simple cantilever or a simple mechanical beam with the finite element software COMSOL. You can download this video in the COMSOL file with the other tutorials on my webpage softhummingbird.com. Okay, these are the steps we will perform in this particular video. Alright, let's start with selecting the physics. Start console, select 3D. Structural mechanics and add eigenfrequency. Then we select micrometers for units. Then we define parameters for the beam length, beam width and beam height. For that right click on global variables, select parameters and type in some variables, let's say some typical values of an AFM cantilever. Let's make the cantilever 300 microns long with a width of 40 microns and a height of 7 microns. Later the beam length will be changed systematically in order to see its influence on the resonance frequency. Next step is defining the geometry. Now let's create this beam. For the geometry we right click geometry and select block. We type in our defined parameters and build all. And here we type in the parameters that we just defined. Of course you could also put in the numbers here directly, but as you will see, defining parameters can make many things much easier. Now we select a material. We click on materials, then on material browser. We type in silicon and search. From the built-in materials, we right-click silicon and add it to our model. By doing this, all of our geometry is already assigned with silicon and we don't have to bother about that. For the simulation, we need the density, the Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio of the material. As you can see, for silicon these values are already given. If you use a special material, you have to fill in the missing values yourself. Now we will set up the physics. Our cantilever should be completely free everywhere, except on one side it should be fixed. The presetting is that the whole geometry is free. Now let's fix one side. Right click on solid mechanics and select fixed constraint. Now we have to select the area that should be fixed. For that, left and then right click on this area over here. If we now take a look on the free boundaries, we see that this boundary is overridden by our just defined fixed area. The fixed area with the number 2 is in this node, as you can see in the text box. Now we will mesh it all up. Let's close these nodes. Now right click on the mesh node and select free tetrahedral. Right click that to define a size. Select extra fine and mesh. Let's make an even finer mesh to get nicer results. Go to my meshing tutorial to see how you can do an even finer mesh. Now we will perform the simulation. Let's close these nodes and go on the study node. In the eigenfrequency node the presetting are six eigenfrequencies. That means the program will look for the first six eigenfrequencies of the system during the simulation. If you type in one it will just calculate for the first and simplest eigenfrequency. Okay, 
Right click on study and say compute. Now the program will solve some differential equations for each point of the mesh. What happened now is we have an error. If you click on warning it tells us that the relative error is greater than the relative residual. That means we have to play around with the relative tolerance. If we set it to 10 to the minus 7 and redo the simulation, it is still too low. Go back to the eigenvalue solver, 10 to the minus 6, that's the trick. Compute all and the error is gone. Ok, now the simulation is finished. And we got such a note here where we can easily plot some results. Ok, and now let's take a look what results we got, what eigenfrequencies and what harmonics. Select solution 1 rather than from parent. And here are all the 6 simulated eigenfrequencies which we can plot and export. Clicking on this little button refreshes the view. Then you can rotate the cantilever. The first and simplest eigenfrequency, as you can see, is around 95 kHz. Here is the side that we fixed and the opposite side is the one which is banded and results in the oscillation. That's the next possible eigenfrequency, when the beam oscillates to the sides. The third one looks very interesting and looks like a torsion of the cantilever. The but last is basically the second harmonic. It's similar to the second harmonic of a guitar string, the so-called flageolet sound. Alright, in the next videos we will let the cantilever move and export little movies of the harmonic oscillations. And then we will see how the length of the cantilever contributes to the eigenfrequencies. And now I would be happy if you would visit my webpage to watch and download all of the COMSOL tutorials and play around with the COMSOL file yourself. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe and vote for this video. Thanks for watching.